Hey guys, uh, Nathaniel here. I'm going to be showing you factor plot. I, I wasn't planning on doing this originally, since it doesn't really have any of the... It's, there's not a ton of stuff to explain here, but I figured I'd show it to you anyways. Um, so let's sort of show you what a factor plot looks like. <clears throat> Ta-da! So you might be seeing this and thinking like, I, I know this is a point plot. Well, a factor plot is a way of displaying uh, multiple graphs uh, in, in the same plot. Um, so for example, if we go down here, uh, that looks the exact same, excuse me as I do this one more time. But sort of the difference here is that <clears throat> uh, I, I, can, I can plot, uh, previously at least with the violin plot, I, I could uh, at a maximum, I guess, plot uh, something with a hue and, and something with uh, a, a, the underlying categorical variable that you want to visualize across in the same plot. Uh, if I want to plot one more category, <clears throat> And how it changes with that category, excuse me, I wouldn't be able to do it. Um, instead, with a factor plot, you can. Uh, so with a factor plot, we can go ahead and specify the column goes to time. Um, and for example, if we want to grab the Titanic data set, uh, we could go ahead and specify the row goes to, I guess what I'm using, the class of the person. So, so look at all this data. Uh, I'm sort of displaying this one single plot. So we've got first class, second class, third class. Um, <coughs> I've got the embark town, so where these people embarked from. And I'm showing the distributions of males and females. Um, males being on the top, females being on the bottom, and then I'm showing the joint distribution of them both using the box plot inside the violin plot. So this is, this is there's a lot of data uh, being shown all in this one exact plot. Um, Factor plots can take any of the previous plots that we've been talking about. Um, it can take point plots, it can take count plots, it can take bar parts, bar the box plots, it can take uh, bar charts, um, it can take violin plots, um, it can take strip, and it can take swarm. Uh, so we can take all of those sorts of things. The things for sort of displaying univariate data types. Um, so, so yeah, uh, it's it's pretty sweet. Um, just as one more sign. Uh, if you wanted to go ahead and add, so row equals class, uh, what I did here is I made Q equal to who, and the column goes to sex. Um, so I'm going to have two columns, the male column, the female column. Uh, I'm going to have uh, who, man, woman, child. So I'll also have the child part. So notice there's there's no women uh, on, the, on the female, and there's no, um, uh, or there's no, uh, men on the female, no women on the male, um, but you also see children as well, male children, female children, how they worked, uh, where they came from. Um, so a ton of data <coughs> on this type of plot. Um, uh, these these are actually pretty useful. Uh, you need to figure out what data that you're interested in and, and then plot them against it because these things very quickly get very chaotic. Um, but... But I don't know. Um, I, I hope this is somewhat interesting to you. I hope this is kind of cool. Um, and I'll see you after this. Uh, next time, I promise we will be getting to heat maps. Okay. See you. Thanks.